Okay, so what does a congested liver mean to me? Well, uh, from my reading on Chinese medicine, you can give yourself congested liver by consuming too much sugar, okay? And also, too much fermented sugar in the form of alcohol. This will cause major problems with your emotions, okay? That's one indicator that you can figure out uh, whether the liver is congested or not, is if you feel a lot of anger, okay? That comes from consuming too much. It's overwhelmed, it becomes toxic, and you feel it. It affects your emotions directly, just like the stomach affects your emotions, just like your heart affects your emotions. It's not just in your brain, it's also in your organs. So I need to respond to my liver congestion, my anger, and um, there's it's diet. Diet can help, magnetherapy or acupuncture can help, but also exercise can help too. It depends. Um, there's no one single solution, but there are several good good uh, choices. Some choices are better than others. Some are good, some are great. Alright, I found that uh, when I just consumed chicken, it's been, it's been a few weeks uh, since I last consumed any meats, and I was able to consume chicken yesterday, uh, or the day before. I felt, I felt a bit of a relief. I, I didn't, I felt a little bit more relaxed, and I think that was because I uh, was feeding my liver. Chicken feeds the liver. Um, there's other types of indicators on how to judge what foods feed particular organs too. Uh, the Chinese medicine goes with the color coding. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very simple, um, but it, it really seems to uh, be a great guide, at least to help people create more of a variety in their diet. They understand that they are they need to feed different organs um, in in particular ways, such as green feeds the liver. So your green leafy foods, the natural greens. Um, then you got orange, maybe like pumpkin or or actual orange can feed the stomach. Orange feeds the stomach. White feeds the lungs. Eat the foods that have the white, like the garlic or the onions. Those will feed the lungs. You know, and on and on. There's there's uh, different color coordinations there. Well, the the uh, color coordination is great for the liver. So you could do that. Meats meats feed the liver too. Um, and there's different kinds of meats. There's the sweet meats, which is found in the chicken and kind of the pork, or the savory meats. Uh, so the taste also, not just color appealing to the eye senses, but also color, but the taste will uh, feed particular organs as well, such as uh, the bitter and uh, tangy will feed the liver as well. Uh, blood is tangy if you could drink blood, but uh, unfortunately that's un that's not socially acceptable. But do you got that? Sweet feeds the the spleen and I believe the stomach. All right. Um, salty feeds the kidneys and on and on. You know. So you got colors. You got tastes. What else? Texture. Um, they haven't gone into that. That'd be interesting. I bet there's something. I mean, every little thing. I was surprised that <clears throat> there is uh, such a mark marked difference in grains. Not all grains are the same. It's not like it's not like oats are the same as wheat. They are different. They are going to feed different organs. Different. Uh, you're going to get different phytochemicals from each. So you do want to have a multi-grain approach to your diet. Wheat doesn't cover it all. Wheat is limited. All right, just like with nuts, there's no one nut that serves them all. You want to have a variety of nuts, but uh, not to eat too many, uh, more than one handful, as far as I understand. At least as far as the, the pain in my gut when that develops understands. I have to watch uh, how many nuts I eat. It seems to coordinate with the uh, the amount of pain I'll experience in digestion because they're difficult, a little more difficult to digest. Um, but yeah, I'll go with that.